You are listening to the Million Dollar Coach Business Podcast with Amanda Carlstead, episode number 249. Welcome to the Million Dollar Coach Business Podcast, a show for coaches who are ready to up-level their business and take their impact, leadership, and results to a million dollar level and beyond. If you're ready to break through your limitations and start taking powerful action and become the seven-figure version of you that your business needs in order to grow, scale, and thrive, this show is for you. I'm your host, Amanda Carlstad, master coach, high-level business mentor and advisor, master intuitive, and business growth and scaling expert. Let's get down to business. Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to today's show. I hope you're doing well. I'm so glad to have you here. I am so excited to talk with all of you as always. I have a new concept that I want to teach you today. And it's a concept that came to me that as I look back on my journey of growing my business, it's something that I have really practiced and have worked on and have really spent time developing in myself. And it's been a really important aspect to my success. And as I started thinking about this and really looking at this on a deeper level, it's one of the things that I can absolutely say that it's not only something that I practice, that I develop, that I do work around on a daily basis in some form, but it's also something that I also observe in my clients as they're in the process of growing and scaling their businesses. And so that concept is, is what I call belief stamina. And when I think about this concept, to me, what this means is the concept of holding your belief. It's your ability to sustain belief. It's the act of demonstrating mental effort towards your belief. It's the ability to be able to stick to your belief for a prolonged period of time, no matter what the result is. So that is what I believe belief stamina means. And when I think about stamina, the thing about stamina and developing stamina is that it builds endurance. It builds strength. So in whatever area you might be building or developing your stamina, if you think about stamina for a minute, what it's doing is it's building your capacity of what you're able to endure. And this is why it's such an important concept. And it's one of the ways that I've been able to experience the level of growth that I have in my business. And I really attribute it largely due to the fact that I've made it a practice of developing what I'm calling my own belief stamina. And it's a practice that has allowed me to create so many amazing results in my business. Now, here's the other thing. I also have belief stamina in my clients, which I think is really important. And I've been thinking a lot about all of this and seeing all of the ways that this has shown up, especially over the last year, as I'm looking at where I'm taking my business in 2023 and where my clients are taking their businesses as well. It's really important that belief stamina is at the core. And so this is something that I am really diving into even more this year. It's something that I'm so excited for what I know this practice is going to produce, what this result will be, both in my life, but also in my business. One of the things that I talked about was the idea, the concept of what got you here won't get you there. So if you go back, it was episode number 169. I talked about the fact that when you reach different levels in your business or even in life, what got you to that point will not typically get you to that next level. And so if you haven't listened to that episode, I highly recommend that you go back and listen to that episode as well. And so the reason I bring that up is because when I think about the level of belief stamina that has gotten me to this point. 
when I look at my clients, when I look at the belief stamina that they have developed and cultivated to get them to where they are today, it also is going to require a new level of belief stamina for that next level. And so one of the things that's also related to this, I feel like all of these recent episodes are all related. I talked in last week's episode about the importance of skill stacking, which is also a very important concept. If you're a coach, if you're in the process of growing and scaling your business, I again, highly recommend if you have not listened to that episode, go back and listen to that episode as well. That's episode number 170. And so when I look at all of these concepts together, the concept of belief stamina, and I look at the concept of skill stacking, I look at the concept of taking things to the next level and really have being called to that higher version. It's really like building a muscle. Because when you first start out, if you think about if, let's say, you have the goal of building muscle. When you first start out, you're probably using lighter weights. You're probably starting with fewer reps. It probably feels much more difficult in the beginning. And you probably feel like you'll never get to the place where you're going to be able to lift that heavier weight. I know I've gone through that process. I know what that feels like. But what happens is is that with consistent effort, with consistent work, with repetition, your muscles will grow they will become stronger. You will build endurance. And because of that, your ability to then push yourself to do then one more rep, to show up with even greater consistency, to lift heavier weights, to challenge yourself to do more. As you do this, you're also building your capacity, your capacity to hold that heavier weight. And as you do this, your muscle will grow larger. It will create more capacity. And you will start to believe that you can hold more and more weight. And I share that example because the same is true in your business. And one of the examples that I want to share with you that demonstrates this so incredibly well, and there are several when I think about this, but one in particular, when I look at one of my high level clients, who at the beginning of last year, so this was in 2022, when we sat down and we're talking about her goals for the year, and we were talking about what it was that she wanted to accomplish, she started out by telling me that she wanted to essentially double her business. So that would put her in the high six figures in her business. When I say high six figures, for her would have meant that she would have essentially doubled her business to about $800,000 per year, which is not bad, right? But as we were talking, I could tell that there was still more there. And because I've worked with this client for quite a while, I know her very well, which is on a side note, one of the reasons that I love that I get to work with so many of my clients over the long term. It's something that I think also is really important as a client, which I think I'm going to do a podcast on explaining this. But because I know this client so well, and because I know her long term goals, because I'm so invested in helping her get to her goals because I believe that is my role as her coach. It's also why I choose to do the work that I do with clients on a much deeper level. But I was able to then challenge her in that moment and really challenge her to the possibility of hitting a million dollars in her business. And what was so interesting is when I presented that challenge, I could tell the possibility, the idea of hitting that million dollars in her business it shifted everything. It really lit her up. And so rather than putting our focus on that $800,000 goal, which again, is a great goal and maybe a goal that many of you are working towards, but really challenging her to go bigger and to expand into that possibility, we were able to develop a plan and a strategy for the year to help her cross the million dollar mark. And let me tell you, a couple of weeks ago, on, I think it was a random, maybe Friday evening, I checked my phone and I had a few messages from this client. And in those messages, this client who at the beginning of the year, and even really throughout most of the year last year, didn't fully believe that she was going to hit a million dollars for the year, even literally right up to the final days of the year, 
did not fully believe that she was going to actually hit a million dollars in her business, hit over a million dollars in her business. In fact, she did $1.2 million in revenue in her business in 2022, despite the fact that she didn't fully believe it all year. This is why I'm bringing this concept to you today. This is why belief stamina is so, so important. And I will tell you what I shared with her in my messages back to her, celebrating her success, celebrating the fact that she created that result, celebrating the fact that she was able to hold the belief, that she stayed open to the possibility, that she stayed committed to the process, that she worked the strategy, she worked the plan, she stayed committed to her belief, that she leaned on my belief, quite honestly, in those times when she needed to. But what that did is it allowed her to make decisions. It allowed her to be taking a level of action from a million dollar result because of her belief stamina. So this is why this concept is so incredibly important because had she not had belief stamina, and I want to be clear, having belief stamina doesn't necessarily mean that you believe it fully all of the time. Had I not had belief stamina for her and for her goals, had there not been belief stamina being cultivated all year and developed along the way, reaching that million dollar goal would likely not have happened. So I want to share with all of you today that even when the result doesn't seem achievable, even when the result that you so desire doesn't seem possible for you, even when you have a story, just like this client did that reaching a million dollars, that surely that's going to take several years to do it. I want to tell you here today to call out to all of you that it absolutely doesn't. And to the degree that you are developing and working towards and building your belief stamina around your goal, whatever it is that you're believing in, my friends, the more you build your belief stamina, the more you challenge your beliefs, the more you show up and build that belief, the more you lean on others when you need to, whether that's someone close to you, whether that's a friend, it's your coach, lean on their belief when you need to. But also lean into building your own. Develop your own belief stamina, no matter what result you might be getting right now. Because the stronger you grow your belief stamina, the more consistent you are in your belief stamina, that million dollar goal, that $500,000 a year goal, that $350,000 goal, that $100,000 goal, whatever that goal is for you will be the result that you have the ability to produce at the end. So I want to challenge you today to truly build your own belief stamina, to put yourself in an environment where you are building your belief stamina, to challenge right now where you're not building belief stamina. To put yourself in a place where you are showing up for your beliefs, where you are showing up for your goals, where you are showing up and doing the work and building your endurance, where you can be reminded of that when you need to be reminded of that. And I will tell you, if you want to be in an environment where this is the standard, if you want to be in an environment that will challenge you at the highest level, where you will build true belief stamina and not fake belief stamina, then I also want to invite you to join us inside of my mastermind programs. We are doing deep, deep work, my friends, in these containers. We are doing the real work, the work that actually matters, creating extraordinary results. And I want to leave you with this. I want you to know that whatever it is that you're working towards, whatever it is that you are desiring in this moment, I want you to know that it's 100% possible for you. In fact, it is meant for you because the possibility of you, the possibility of your goal, the possibility and your potential is already right here. So lean into it and create belief stamina. It's here for you. So let's go. All right, my friends. 
Have a beautiful week. I'll talk to you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Million Dollar Coach Business Podcast. If you're ready to step into the million dollar version of yourself and scale your business to six, multi-six, or seven figures and beyond, go to amandacarlstadcoaching.com. 